Hello again, or hello for the first time. And it kind of occurred to us that since we live in <laughs> central New York, uh, upstate New York, or anywhere in New York, uh, we don't hardly go to Tully's enough, and that's what we're doing today. And today's kind of a double duty. Uh, we are kicking off our February, uh, we're gonna, gonna call it alcohol February, or boozy like February, boozy. or <laughs> all our videos in uh, February will be alcohol centric. We're gonna go to local places, we're gonna go to different uh, local breweries and things like that. So don't, I know not everyone drinks alcohol and um, enjoys beer yeah. or uh, cocktails, but we are looking to just uh, kind of go to some local places that we haven't really been to in, enough. Mm -hmm. And here we are and we're gonna get a couple, uh, th see they make their own beer. Tellims makes their own beer and they also might have uh, some other cocktails and things, but we don't know. So we're gonna go in and find out. What do you think? It sounds obnoxious. It sounds <laughs> obnoxious to be like we're spending all of February going to, to drink at different places, but Syracuse has an awful lot of microbreweries and a lot of places that are really cool, so yeah. we just thought it'd be neat to highlight some of them. Yeah, so let's go. Tully's great food and good times. This is the newest addition. To Tully's. So this restaurant used to be an Uno and it's in um, Fayetteville, New York and this used to, uh, as I just said, this used to be Uno and they actually just opened not too long ago and they've already put an addition on to the place. That's how popular this place is. So here we are at our seat, lovely seat for two and here's the drink menu. All day draft specials and they have three beers Tully's Light, Tully's Pilsner, and Tully's IPA. And some happy hour stuff. And look at this. We'll leave a link to in the description box to Tully's if you're interested in looking at any of any of the stuff. Look at it. It's the reason why look this there's even a pineapple on this menu. Look, psych reference. So I haven't even taken a look at the menu yet, so I ordered, uh, and they already brought our popcorn to the table, and I ordered the Shamrock Sampler with the three Tully's beers in there, and you got the IPA? Nice, tall, right? Tully's IPA, tall. So they should really have a contest here. If you can walk in the door and tell them a number, like how many TVs that they have in Tully's, just randomly. You have like 57 TVs. And if you get it right, you can get like, I don't know, an extra scoop of popcorn or something. Like, they should do that. Because in this room alone, they have 17 TVs. 17, and they're all in like different channels here that it's like it's crazy there's there's uh everything from ice skating to uh football and basketball and uh tully's commercials i don't even know what sport that is yeah what sport is that I love golfing. yeah it looks like uh that must be on ESPN 8, the Ocho. Oh my God. Look how big that glass is. Yeah. It's like 144 ounces. <laughs> and I got these super tiny ones. Look at that. It's very cute though. And they all have, yeah. And they have it written IPA, uh, Light, and the Pilsner. Pils, and it's upside down. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, oh, it's a shamrock. Oh, I guess it said that in the menu, too. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was, uh, you know, uh, for illustrative purposes. So originally, we were going to get fancy ones to kick off February with, look at these, martinis. And uh, winter mint sounds really good right now, but I'm glad I got uh, to try their three house-made beers here. That's great. So we had to order some dinner. Obviously, I got the tenders. Uh, last time I had these, and they were amazing. I haven't had them ever before. So this is the second time in my life I've had tenders, and they have the uh, honey mustard here. And 
You got an appetizer. I got the it's veggie quesadilla. Nice. I got it as an entree, and then I added guacamole. Nice. I love guacamole. Look, it's so pretty. I bet it's delicious. I got the veggie burger last time, and it was really good. Yeah. But I was feeling a quesadilla. So these three are really good. Um, the Pilsner is probably my favorite, followed by the light. And I'm not really a fan of IPAs, but I could drink this. It's not too hoppy, it's not extreme. So I know you like IPAs. You ordered that last time we went to Tully's. I really like their IPA. I think it's very sweet. Yeah, but yeah, they're just really tasty. Nice, nice, uh, just to go with your tender. Doesn't get better than this, honestly. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at Tully's to kick off Alcohol February, that's what I'm calling it, I don't know. I don't really know if anyone has a, a better name for Please Alcohol February. I, we were thinking, I was like, maybe boozy February, yeah. I don't know, like brunch. <laughs> but, but like boozy brunch, so boozy February. Yeah. I could see that. If you guys have suggestions, please tell us. Maybe we'll have you guys vote on it. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment down below. If you did like this video, <laughs> click like. If, have you been to Tully's? Is it their favorite drink that you have? Have you been to any places or do you want us to check out any places like breweries and things? Leave those in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you for uh, watching mm -hmm. and We'll see you in the next uh, alcohol February. Who's <laughs> <Boozy> February? <laughs> uh, bye. Bye. <laughs>